Is it possible to generate high quality social media content and boost your revenue? Yes, you heard it right. You can generate high revenue and increase your social media interaction using our system with the help of Msquare YouTube Custom Ads. Hi, I am Krishna Sangal, an automation engineer from Msquare Automation Solution. Today, AI is an important topic where everyone utilizes to boost their business and work efficiency. In our system, I will show you how you can utilize our YouTube custom app with AI to generate high income and create good content from different YouTube videos. Come, I will show you how it works. Let's start the scenario. In this scenario, I will show you how you can create good quality content and boost your revenue using YouTube custom app. So this is our YouTube custom app. So in triggers, you can see different modules like YouTube instant trigger, watch for new video by search watch for new comments etc likewise there are certain categories and each category there will be a collection of modules in videos there are modules comments there are modules likewise in each category there will be a collection of modules. for this scenario uh, i am going to choose the module name as watch for new video by search so i'm making this as the triggering module and here you can see that search string where you can pass the string to search in YouTube uh, and you, you can see that you can also set the limit so initially I have given the limit as 5 and here uh, I need to search some string so I am going to pass the most relevant topic that is AI so I am typing AI and yeah here I am going to generate the module so I will click run once you can see that a uh, five bundle has been generated. The each bundle consists of the information about each videos which were published, their channel ID, title, description, along with the thumbnail. So these are the information regarding five videos. Uh, because uh, five bundles has been generated because we have set the limit as five. So here you can change the limit as 10 and I'm going to try this. See, like uh, we need to choose where to start. So I'm choosing all and uh, again, I'm going to run this. Now you can see that 10 bundle has been generated. Each bundle is, a, is the information regarding each uh, YouTube video. Consists of kind, video ID, details, thumbnails, etc. So that's it. So after that, I'm going to choose one of our next custom app module that is get video caption details. So I'm going to choose that and before that i'm going to uh, set the limit as a uh, file again in order to save the operation uh, i don't want to waste my operation and after that i need to i need to map the video id from the watch for new video by search module once this has been done i will click the run module so before that i need to choose where to start after setting this i will run again now you can see that uh, five operation uh, has been generated along with uh, the details of five videos like it consists of the video caption details of uh, five videos so you can see the uh, snippets inside there there is certain information like language etc likewise uh, these are these are the information regarding five different videos and after that i am going to use the other module known as the get video caption uh, this uh, this will only uh, works if if the video consists of caption so so for this uh, i'm going to map the video id so i get from watch for new video by search and you can see here that uh, the caption language failed to load data this means that uh, the connection is not correct so i will change the connection so after that i i need to map the caption language so so i need to i need to map the caption language here so from the get video caption detail, you can see that there are item array. Uh, so, so before that, I need to input ISO 631 language code only. So uh, I go to items array and inside snippet, you can see that language. So what I'm going to do is that I will map the language into here and I will choose, uh, I, will, I will set the limit as two because I, need, I don't want to waste the operation. After that, I will choose where to start and I will run the scenario. Now you can see that uh, two video captions of two different videos has been generated. You can see the original caption, there is a collection where you can see the caption of that video along with the structured array. It, it's basically uh, the durations and what's that uh, particular uh, thing saying in that duration and all. 
so i, I think the, there are about 265 collections of uh, things inside this particular video so we are going to add the open ai module so create a completion create a completion as the module and inside that we are going to choose the new model of open ai that is the model chat gpt 40 so we will choose the chat gpt 40 as a model and after that in the message section you can add the system and the user on the role i choose this uh, role as system and the message content this is for creation of facebook content so the prompt should be like this mm, and after that i am going to add another message and uh, here the role is user and i am going to map uh, the text from get video caption module so after that i need to add the tokens uh, so here i am going to add the tokens once it has been done i will press the ok button yeah after that this module is particular for generation of facebook content so i am going to rename it as facebook content the name is facebook content and i will press the ok button now it has been done next what i am going to do is that i am going to run this scenario for that i will choose where to start and i will select all once it has been done i will click the run once so scenario has been started triggering and let's wait so the open ai is generating its output now you can see that open ai has generated the output the content that needed to be posted in facebook is generated and likewise i will create the modules for uh, i will create a uh, for content for linkedin and the heading heading means i need to create i need to give heading for this content so i have used another open ai module for creating heading and i am going to run this it's running yeah you can see uh, output has been generated so i need to store it somewhere so for that uh, i am going to i am going to choose a google sheet so for in order to store these values i am using the google sheet name as youtube caption where you can see there are columns like video id their caption content to post on facebook content to post on linkedin the image url the heading and the button here the button have publish so so that whenever we press the publish then automatically it will post to the social medias so for that we will add a row to add this into the google sheet and then we can take the connection then we can choose the spreadsheet id so my name my sheet name is youtube caption so i choose that then after that you can choose the sheet name and you can map the all the things so this is a google sheet so in this google sheet you can see that uh, there is a button column and there is a publish button the idea is that when i press this publish button these two content need to be posted on facebook and linkedin before that we need to make a connection so we will go to extension and we will choose make for google sheet and we will press settings here you need to pass the url and you need to give the sheet name so my sheet name is sheet 1 so i will enter the sheet name here and we will pass the range here so the button column is in uh, column g so i will pass a range here so i will choose g2 to g11 you can set accordingly after this has been done we need to save this so i saved this and we will go to the scenario here i am going to trigger the scenario and come to google sheet and i am going to press the button as publish now let's wait see the output has been generated you can see the result inside the bundle here you can see the row value so all the values inside this row has been successfully generated now this row value is an array so what we are going to do is that we are going to map this array value into iterator so i am going to choose the iterator from flow control and i will choose the iterator and after that i will map the array row value into this array that i call so once it has been set up uh, now here i am chosen uh, two social medias facebook and linkedin so for that 
what i'm going to do is that i am going to add the router so once i have set the router i am going to add uh, add the facebook page module inside the facebook page module i will choose create a post uh, with photos and after that i am going to take the proper connection and once i have taken the connection you can choose the page and here you can upload photos as upload a photo or a download photo from url the thumbnail url was already been uh, stored in google sheet so we can map here and you can map the description inside the message column so once it has been set up i am going to set the linkedin module here in this linkedin i need to post a photo in an organization so i will choose create an organization image post as the module and once i have set up you can see that we need to um, we need to map and uh, the file with the file name and data access so we for that what we are going to do is that we will add a module known as the http uh, module so in that inside http we will choose get a file module what it does that download a file from the url here uh, the thumbnail url has already been set stored in google sheet so we will we will map here so once it has been set up we will choose the organization we will choose it from http get a file and here inside the content you can pass the content from google sheet once we have set up we will save the scenario and then uh, i have also uh, stored the caption so i'll pass the caption here inside this facebook so here i am going to uh, i am going to try it for google sheet now so i will disable the route for linkedin so once it has been done i will run this scenario and i will go to youtube caption google sheet and i will press the publish so scenario has started triggering and you can see that post has started to generate on facebook now i will go to my facebook account and yeah let's see see inside yeah inside this photo yeah you can see that post has been successfully generated with the good image you can see this uh, this post has been generated with good hashtags and all now let's uh, try this for both so i'm going to press the button as publish let's wait scenario started triggering so post has started to generate on facebook yeah and yeah linkedin post also been generated so this is the uh, linkedin so you can see that post has been generated with good catchy hashtags and now let's check the facebook mm, let's let's go to post and let's refresh it and let's wait for a second mm, see post has been generated ready to take your content creation to next level and maximize your revenue potential get started with our youtube app and witness the transformative power of content creation if you want more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel stay tuned for more exciting videos